Glock has just introduced two new pistols, the G43X and the G48. We're going to take a quick look at some of the features and the differences and what make these pistols unique in the Glock line. These guns have been safety checked and they are clear. Now guys, we have full reviews on both of these handguns, so if you really want to get into the details, we do compare it with the SIG P365, and we bring in the original G43. But this video is really just a quick look at some of the features that make these different over the other Glock pistols in their line. Uh, one of the big things is it's a 10 round magazine. They're both the same size frame. Uh, in fact, these frames actually interchange. They are exactly the same. And so that's one of the big features. It does extend the grip down below where the G43 is. And I'm just going to show you. It does come down just a little bit. And yet the slide on the G43X and the G43 are exactly the same in all dimensions. One of the big things, though, that's different is, of course, the NPVD finish, which is a silver color, almost white. It's so light. Uh, but that gives it a whole new look from the traditional Glock. Uh, and, you know, the G19X came in with that kind of an FDE gold desert color. Uh, but it was for the military trials uh, for the U.S. military. And so I was really surprised to see this finish on these pistols. But it's going to hold up very well. It's much better than Cerakote, in my opinion. I mean, it's impregnated into the metal. It's going to wear very well. Now, while we've got it up here, you'll notice that, of course, these front slide serrations, which Glock has been adding to their new Gen 5 line pistols. Uh, and the G43X has four, the G48 has five. Uh, but then you have your standard rear serrations as well. It, they do come with the standard Glock sights. You got your mag release that you can switch to the other side, has your standard Glock trigger. And of course, these have been improved with the Gen 5, and these are actually a little better than some of the traditional triggers. Now, as far as the pull and some of the details, we're going to have that in the full review. Uh, but a couple of things about these pistols why in the world would Glock introduce a 10 round magazine and a longer grip for concealed carry? Uh, one of the big things is, of course, the SIG P365. You know, it has really taken the market because it's a very small pistol and yet carries 10 or 12 rounds if you extend the magazine. And so Glock, I think, number one was answering that to give you a little more magazine capacity, which to me, 10 rounds is a huge improvement over just six rounds. Uh, and you're just getting a little bit of an extension. But here's the catch. It's the magazine that makes the difference. This is not an extended G43 magazine. Now here we have a standard G43 magazine. You can see that they are definitely different in width. And I think that Glock was going more for the one and a half stack to be able to get more efficiency with their magazine. Because if you'll notice, there's not but about three quarters of an inch or so difference. And yet you're getting four extra rounds. And because of the thickness, magazines are not compatible with the G43 from the G43X or the G48, which uses the same magazine. And then you've got your single stack G43 mag, and of course it's only six rounds, so it wasn't gonna work anyway. And so I'm glad that they're going ahead and moving forward and not trying to retrofit these mags into the new pistols. And these magazines are the new Gen 5 style with the orange follower, which I think is a great upgrade as well. The grip has the diamond pattern all the way around it. It's a little bit subdued, uh, but it fits good in the hand. It's not too aggressive, and it's the exact same on the G48. So really the only difference between these two pistols is the slide length and the barrel length. Now while the width on the slide is exactly the same, the barrel length is definitely different. We have a 3.41 inch barrel in the G43X. We have a 4.117 inch barrel in the G48. And guys, to be honest with you, the G48 is actually the same exact profile as your Glock 19, but it's just a lot thinner. Now, that leads us to another point. One of the things about this is not only are these great for concealed carry, but for states that have magazine restrictions to 10 rounds, uh, this is a great way to carry all 10 rounds very efficiently instead of a 10 round magazine in a Glock 19 which is thicker, heavier, built for 15 plus 1. So we have 10 plus 1. It shoots 
very similar to your Glock 19 because it's the same size profile, the slide's the same length, you have the same sight radius. And so I think that if that alone, not even for concealed carry, but to have a more efficient 10 round pistol, I think these are excellent choices. And then you get the benefits of it being really thin, feeling really good in the hand, extended grip, uh, just a lot of pluses in that direction not only just for concealed carry but yes concealed carry you do get a little bit of an extended grip but you know guys these are really thin pistols and i've been carrying the glock 19 for years anyway concealed carry so i, I really think there's a good market for both of these handguns now while the slides are exactly the same dimension the frame is actually one millimeter thicker on the new g43x and the g48 over the g43 uh, now I have talon grips on here, so it makes it a little more difficult to tell. But you can see that it is a little bit thicker. It gives you a little more grip on the handgun. One thing you also will notice is that there is a rise right here on the G43, and it's on both sides. And it's absent on the G43X and the G48. But there is a slight little lift here that increases the grip. Now I've switched the frames with the different slides and it fits on the same. I haven't actually field tested it, but I can tell you guys, these are the same slides to the frame. And then as far as differences with the G43 internally, there are none that I could tell. Also, they've beveled the front of the slide and the frame, which they haven't done with the standard G43. So that's a good improvement as well. And on the G48, it does have one of the relief cuts at the bottom, very similar to the Model 34. I want to thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, and uh, all made right here in the USA. Good quality ammunition, 115 grain full metal jacket. Now we shot both pistols down at the range, zero malfunctions in either pistol, and while they're very similar uh, in frame size and of course, you know, a little bit longer sight radius, uh, the slide's a little heavier on the G48, but it shot a little bit flatter. It was easier to track your sights. And um, I really enjoyed shooting the 48 a little more than the 43X. Uh, but still, with that extended grip, I like this much better than the G43. And again, with Glock reliability and confidence uh, and those that thinner grip, uh, just allowed for this gun to be very easy to manage and control. Uh, even though sometimes with single stack 9mm, you know, they can be a little snappy, I didn't really find that with either of these pistols. Now, as far as price goes, we haven't seen any details, but I'm sure Glock will be announcing that pretty soon. So guys, that's pretty much the new features on the G43X and the G48. And again, if you want to see the full review, uh, I'll have both of those uploaded right behind this one so you can check out a lot of the other details. And I want to thank Glock for sending these pistols for the test and evaluation. It was a lot of fun at the range. Um, able to show you guys a couple of new offerings from Glock. I think that these are excellent with for concealed carry. Uh, also for states, again, that have magazine restrictions, this just makes it a much more efficient handgun. You still have that full size, and yet it's not like carrying a Glock 19 with a 10-round magazine. Uh, you've got that thinness, but yet it shoots very similar to the G19. And then again, you can upgrade your G43 with 10 rounds with just a little bit of a, an extension on the grip. To me, it just is a better shooting gun at the range. So this just gives us more options, whether you go with the subcompact G43, the compact G43X, or the full size G48. This just gives us more tools in our toolbox. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. had no malfunctions whatsoever. More efficient because you're carrying that tent case. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby.